Welcome to this T-Ball tip. I'm Marty Shupak for Shupak Sports. Shupak Sports has 50,000 video clips coming. We can guarantee if you're a player, if you're a coach, or you're a parent, you'll get better in the specific sport that you want to play, coach, or to be a parent to one of your kids. T-ball, you want to engage the kids. You want to move them from one drill to the next. Safety is the top priority. Today we're talking about throwing. This is a very easy drill, and a lot of you might have done it. I call it the knock down the box drill, where I put seven boxes and a cone on top, and the player has to try to knock down the cone. You could use 10 boxes, which would increase the target. And that's what you want to do, because our goal is to put players in a position to succeed. The distance could vary depending upon the skill and the age. And what you'll find is that because he's throwing the ball at a target, his head will be somewhat steady. Because a lot of times in T-ball, and generally with young players, the ball will travel all over the place like a misguided missile. And a lot of that has to do with the head not being steady. Now, there are a lot of other factors. They don't bring their arm all the way back. They don't really practice the right skills. My theory is early in the season, don't try to overcoach and underteach. You want to give them different parts of the skill in, uh, you know, very, very short periods of time, and then it'll add up. And what happens also is you'll find that a lot of players, their skill will vary. And it doesn't necessarily have to be by age. So if you have a player that was born, let's say in January, but a player that was born the same year in June, he's a little more advanced than the January player. It's not a problem with the kids, but it'll be a problem with the adults, especially if they live in the same neighborhood. But you have to reassure them that kids advance at different stages. I've seen kids blossom later on. I've seen kids that almost quit baseball or softball, but with encouragement, they stayed with it, and they ended up being one of the best players on their high school team. We have to encourage kids to stick with it as long as they have an interest. But make sure when you're doing throwing drills like this, you spread the kids out. You don't have to have like 10, 12 drills with this. You could use this as a station, okay? Now, also one of the things which um, I put into effect is something I call the chair drill, which um, I'll show in a second. It's it's in this book I wrote called T-Ball Skills and Drills. But the chair drill, and the reason I did that is because I took a freestanding bench and I wanted kids to feel their arm going back. Remember, a lot of times kids will stop at the ear, okay? And a lot of times I found that kids that even stop at the air, they think they're bringing the arm all the way back. What the chair drill is doing is it's using gravity. So they're bringing their arm back, they're bringing it around, as you see it here and here. The coach or parent stands at the end of the bench and he tries to throw a ball to them. And you use a soft cover ball. But I just want you to understand we're doing this because a lot of kids don't know what it feels like to bring their arm all the way back, even when they think they're bringing the arm back and they're not. So this drill with gravity gives them the feeling of bringing the arm all the way back. I've done this drill on the bleachers also. The other thing is, um, I see a lot of coaches that when kids are a little older, for their pitchers, they'll have specific drills. A number of years ago, I started including my whole team in this these pitching drills because these pitching drills are excellent drills to get players throwing the correct way. So include your team as they get older, 
in a lot of different pitching drills. But Shoe Pack Sports, I'm Marty Shoe Pack.